If there's one thing you shouldn't miss out on before rolling credits on Dragon's Dogma 2, it's finding and solving the riddles of the mysterious Sphinx. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. This is a secret best left to discover on your own, but if you've searched high and low and you still haven't found the mythical beast, or you're stuck on solving one of its many riddles, here's everything you need to know. Before you search for the Sphinx, I recommend that you have a handful of fairy stones and a portable port crystal that you can place down at the Sphinx's location. It will make solving some of the Sphinx's riddles far easier if you're able to quickly come back to it. There are two ways to find the Sphinx. First, you can follow the path from the checkpoint rest town to the ancient battleground, go through this gate to enter the ramparts, fight this cyclops, climb this ladder, and then go through the world's end cavern. You'll eventually have to fight your way past the golem to reach the shrine corridor, and then move on through to get to the mountain shrine, which is where you'll find the Sphinx. The other way is a bit more straightforward as it involves you working your way through the Misty Marshes. You'll want to make for the northwestern part of the Misty Marshes. It's a bit hard to navigate through there due to the lack of map data, but you're looking for a campfire and an abandoned house as your initial waypoint on the way to the Sphinx. From there, you want to head towards the cliffside and look for spots where you can climb up and out of the Misty Marsh. You'll be on a path with a ton of harpies, so ideally, you'll have some archers or mages in your party to help deal with them. Eventually, you'll climb your way up and reach the Mountain Shrine. When you reach the Sphinx, it will have a set of five riddles for you to solve. They can be tackled in any order, but I'm just going to start from the top and go to the bottom. For the Riddle of Eyes, all you have to do is enter the nearby cave, climb up to reach the chest right above the cave's entrance, take the ceiling file, and then deliver it back to the Sphinx. Easy. Of course, you can clear the rest of the cave if you want. There's some pretty decent loot and plenty of EXP. For the Riddle of Madness, you can solve this riddle fairly easily just by presenting your main pawn to the Sphinx on the pedestal. Alternatively, you could max out your relationship level with an NPC, put them in the ceiling file that you just got from the previous riddle, and bring them back to the Sphinx, but why bother? For the Riddle of Wisdom, you'll need to hire a pawn with the moniker of Sphinx Parent, Sphinx Mother, or Sphinx Father. To do this, you'll need to have found a Riftstone of Fellowship. Three of these types of Riftstones can be found at the Malachite Forest, Guerco Mountain Road, and Harv Village. If you've activated one of those Riftstones, you can just go to the Big Riftstone in Vernworth, select View Linked Riftstones, find the Riftstone of Fellowship, and click Yes to apply that Riftstone's characteristics to all pawns in the Rift. The next batch of pawns that comes through should then include one of the pawns that you need. Once you've got one of those pawns in your party, travel back to the Sphinx and have them up on the pedestal with you when you go to answer the riddle. And you claim this to be the parent I seek. Indeed, you are correct. For the Riddle of Conviction, literally giving the Sphinx any item will do. But since she will basically duplicate whatever item you give her, you might as well make it something valuable, like a port crystal for instance. And then finally for the Riddle of Rumination, you'll need to go back to the location of the first Seeker's Token you picked up. In its place will instead be a Finder's Token. Bring that back to the Sphinx, and you'll be golden. What, you don't remember where your first Seeker's Token is? But... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, surely you followed my things to do first guide and caught my note to remember where the first token was. You didn't? Dang, well, I guess I can't help you with that. My recommendation would be to check out our interactive map on IGN.com and try to retrace your early steps, hitting up all the secret token location spots along the way. But you'll have to be quick because you only have seven in-game days to find it after you activate the riddle. After solving all five riddles, the Sphinx will take flight to her second location, which is the Frontier Shrine. You can get there either by grabbing onto the Sphinx really quickly before it takes off and just riding it all the way there, or if you miss that opportunity, you can also get there by heading towards this spot on your map. You'll have to travel along the river to the west of the Checkpoint Rest Town. It's a fairly perilous path, full of minotaurs, chimeras, and low visibility, so make sure that you're well prepared for the journey. 
When you reach the foggy and rainy part of the trek, keep to the left side and look for this column that's leaning against the wall. Head under the column and you'll reach the shrine. These next four riddles cannot be completed in any order, and in fact must be tackled in the order you receive them, which is different from person to person. And not only that, but if you get the wrong answer on even one of them, you lock yourself out from completing the rest of this quest. So, you know, no pressure. If you're extra worried about it, you may want to make a static save at an inn before you get your next Sphinx riddle, so you can reload if you make a mistake. Here are all the riddles you may receive. Riddle of Recollection. For this riddle, you must correctly recall the number of riddles that you've solved. Since this will be different depending on when you hear this particular riddle, your answer will differ from mine. You can check your quest log for an accurate count, just make sure that you only count the riddles solved and not the riddles heard. And also remember that the very act of finding the Sphinx was a riddle itself. When I did this on my PC save, I did not count that riddle and ended up failing the quest. Once you've confirmed the number of riddles solved, bring that many statues over to the Sphinx. For the riddle of differentiation, the Sphinx will task you to find a certain person who you may recognize from the checkpoint rest town. All you have to do is bring that person to the Sphinx. There's a trick to it. The person you might be thinking of, Dante, who always hangs out in front of the inn at the checkpoint rest town, actually has a twin named Virgil. Imagine that. You can tell the difference between them by looking at their pictures in the NPC log in the history menu. Virgil can be found just beyond the checkpoint gate in Batal. Make sure that the one you're delivering to the Sphinx is the one that they're actually looking for. Once you're sure, grab the NPC, use a fairy stone to travel back to the Sphinx, and deliver him to answer the riddle. For the riddle of futility, you are tasked with delivering a fragile vase to Sir Martis in Bakpatal. The psycho way to do this would be to try to physically carry the vase all the way there. Instead, head to Bakpatal and find Martis in the residential district by the Sphinx mural. Grab him and fairy stone back to the Sphinx, where you can just plop him down right next to the vase without ever touching it. Just a quick note that if you want to fully complete this quest by killing the Sphinx, at this point you should switch to the Archer or Warfare vocations so that you can use the Unmaking Arrow to kill the Sphinx before it flies away forever after the last riddle. The Riddle of Contest is perhaps the most straightforward of all the riddles. All you have to do is defeat a guard that the Sphinx will spawn while equipped with the Ring of Derision, which will make all of your attacks do virtually no damage. All you have to do is stun the enemy, Mystic Spear Hand's Redoubted Bolt makes this very easy, pick them up, and then yeet them off the edge. Make sure that you unequip the ring afterwards as the game doesn't do it for you. After collecting the fifth reward, talk to the Sphinx and it will bid you farewell. You can leave it at that and just let the Sphinx fly off, never to be seen again, or you could go for one last reward. Strike it a few times to turn it hostile, and then you'll be locked in battle with it. Fight with it until it attempts to flee, at which point you can use the unmaking arrow to land a final hit on it. Once you slay it, you'll obtain the key to the big chest and claim the Eternal Wake Stone, which allows you to return any dead NPC to life without needing a consumable Wake Stone. Great if you accidentally trigger Dragon's Plague. And that's everything you need to know about the Sphinx in Dragon's Dogma 2. Thanks for watching and for more Dragon's Dogma 2, make sure to check out our videos showing how to unlock the vocations, along with our growing wiki on IGN.com, including an interactive map to help you find those secret tokens and golden beetles. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.